Hey guys, I wanted to show you my new travel guitar by Journey Guitars. It comes in a super case, it loads on the plane in an overhead compartment. I love the case. It has a hideaway uh, zipper pocket just for some very much needed items like your nail file and your polishing paper. And I keep my cords for my Tonewood app in here. And the most important item that you can carry with you when you have this guitar is a peg winder because you're going to need that. I'll show you what I mean in just a few minutes. The case also has a wonderful place for an iPad. And this, believe it or not, is the neck. The whole guitar fits in this case. It's separated into two parts, the neck and the main body. And we'll have a look at that in just a second. On the back side, there are straps, making it easy to carry through airports and train stations. Inside, you'll see right here, is the guitar. And there's a wonderful area that holds your strings separate. You have to make sure they're Velcroed in here just like this so they don't get all messed up. And then in here is the neck in two separate parts. Isn't that weird? It looks like it's a broken guitar. And the guitar simply comes together by clipping this in and tightening it down. You have to do that while placing it between your legs like this and then folding it back. So you lock it in place and you fold it back until it clicks into place like that. And then you tighten down that. You heard it pop in place. It's slightly loose now, but all you have to do is screw this in so it's very tight. And you gotta make sure it's really as tight as you can get it because that determines the action or how far the strings are off the neck. It's the perfect guitar to keep your hands in shape and uh, easy to carry when you don't want to have your concert guitar or your finest instruments traveling with you, like on vacations and things like I'm now. Um, this is the perfect instrument to keep you in shape indeed. And so I've also placed on the back uh, something called Tonewood Amp. This is an incredible amplifier. It's not that you would plug it into anything. It comes right off the natural sound of the guitar. And you take an, uh, a cord and connect the out of the guitar into the input. And you have all kinds of different effects. In particular, I love the reverb. And I'll play for you in just a few moments, just as soon as I uh, tune this thing up. But I was going to show you why it's so important to have this down, the peg winder. Because you'll hear the strings are far out of tune. And so you can easily just tune them up quickly or get them a little close to being in tune by using the peg winder. You'll hear them clicking a little bit and going. And then the tuning process goes a lot faster in a matter of seconds. You're up out. You're up and running. I'll tune it up and be right back. We'll hear it in just a second. Hey, well, I'm back with the Journey uh, Instruments classical guitar, the lower model of two for $650. And I've given it a couple of weeks. I played it for a little bit. Uh, it helps to settle it in. I found that the guitar was stiff at first and it was hard to hear overtones that should have been there. But as time has gone by, it has really opened up tremendously and I fell in love with the sound of it. It's amazing guitar for $650. Let's take a listen to the bass. It's full and rich in my mind. Decent sound, definitely for the bass. Six hundred fifty dollars can't beat that. Let's take a listen to the trebles.
it has a nice sustain and ring to it. Um, I find it lyric. It's got some weak spots in it. You'll see right around, right around the 12th fret up to the uh, 7th to 12th fret. And for 650 bucks, it's a great guitar. Um, it's great also if you're just looking for an instrument to play around the campfire for singing or for just general finger picking. Super for that. I highly recommend this. And overall, I give this guitar an A if you're a classical virtuoso and you want something to play on the road. And a 9 if you just want something to play around the campfire and not really concerned about um, the playability or what you get out of the guitar. But I must say also, just as a, a technical point, uh, we're shy a couple of frets up here, so if you're virtuoso playing and practicing, you're gonna be missing your B, flat your B right here. So don't uh, be taking on a road, thinking you're gonna be practicing um, pieces with those upper notes, upper frets. So, great guitar, super for the money, highly recommend it. There's a step up for this I'm excited to try out, and we'll take a look at that um, coming up next review.